Many of us fear that the aged pension may be the only comfort to us as we reach retirement age. The aged pension uh, will always hopefully exist in, in one form or another and Australians will rely on it to some extent. However, um, as time changes, the, the aged pension is going to become less and less part of that mix. Uh, the Association of Superannuation Funds of Australia uh, produced a, a, a retirement benchmark report in, in June of this year. And that stated that in order to have a comfortable retirement, you would actually need an income of about $55,000 per year. It's not covered by the age pension. And particularly as the baby boomers uh, come to, to their retirement phase, which they are coming to at the moment, um, there'll be more and more pressure on the age pension. The aged pension was never intended to live off alone. That's where the importance of super comes in. I've got children. I wouldn't even contemplate mentioning superannuation yet, but I think definitely parents and also the schooling system should, especially in the later years of education, they should, should mention or at least give some sort of advice to retirement because, as you know, when you're young, you, um, you don't sort of think of later on in years. People generally start thinking about their super uh, in their 40s, which puts the burden of the savings on the la latter half of their life. So what that's going to mean is that they're going to have a, a tougher road later on to amass enough to, to give them a, a comfortable retirement. So it's very important that people do take control early. Um, so in terms of that, the, better, the earlier you start, the better it is. 68-year-old retired electrician Murray Rankin invested wisely in his self-funded retirement plan. I think you can um, have your own investment strategy. Um, um, you can either have it in cash or shares. There are other things, but we only um, have either cash or shares. And then I know what, I've, what shares I've got, what I'm buying, I can sell them all. And um, like at the moment, we're probably starting to move more money into shares slowly. But a lot of these super funds aren't returning a great deal at the moment. And if you're drawing 5% out, you may uh, find you're drawing more than the fund is making for you. You know, not all super funds are created equal. Uh, they all behave in, in different ways. They all have a wildly varying cost structure. Uh, etc. So it's very important to understand that costs can vary and over the course of your working life this can make thousands of dollars of difference to your retirement savings. We strongly encourage our members first and foremost particularly at a young age to choose a super fund that they're happy with, one that they know performs well um, and then use that super fund as their savings vehicle. Stick to the one fund uh, at various stages in your life, it's obviously good to, to make comparisons with other super funds uh, and gauge the performance of that fund. If you're still happy with that super fund, stick to it. Tell your new employer that that's the fund you want to use. Uh, if you want to make a change, obviously again seek the financial planning advice, make the change uh, and then roll all of the other super back into that fund. My advice is just, um, you know, just don't just listen to a financial advisor. Uh, try to get do a bit of homework yourself. Through the past few years, the global financial crisis had a, a great impact on people's retirement savings. All I would say on that matter is that you know the, the large majority of people who are having to return to work, uh, potentially some of that was as a result of not seeking the right financial planning advice earlier um, and modifying their strategy sooner uh, to protect their investments. According to Comsec Chief Economist Craig James, Aussies would have to get used to more modest super returns and the bulk of their retirement savings will come from the consumer's own hard work. This has been Jackie O'Leary reporting for Undercurrent.